Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install CentOS Stream 10 on VMware Workstation. First we will download then we will install. Okay. So to download go to CentOS official website that is CentOS.org. Click on download. See here we have two versions 10 and 9. 10 is the latest one and see here we have the architectures. These are the architectures ISOs, RPMs, Cloud, Containers, or Grant. Okay. I am going to download this x86-64 architecture. For ISOs, we have to click on this mirror. Click on it. See, download started. Go to downloads. See here, its size is 6.9 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open VMware. Now, click on create a new virtual machine or file and select new virtual machine. Either is fine. Then click on next, then select the installer disk image file, then select the downloaded CentOS Stream 10 ISO file. See here, I have kept it here, then click on, then select the ISO file and click on open. Then click on next. Here we have to provide the name. I am giving CentOS. And select the path to store this virtual machine files and folders. Click on browse. Select the path where you have the anosphere. Click on next. Now provide the virtual hard disk size. I am giving 100 gigabytes. Then click on next. See by default memory selected as 2 gigabytes. I am going to increase it to 4 gigabytes. So to change we have to click on this customer hardware. I am giving 4 gigabytes. It is up to you based on availability. Number of processors I am giving to. If you want to enable virtualization, you have to select these checkboxes. It is up to you. Click on close and don't select this one that is power on this virtual machine after creation. Then click on finish. Still, you want to edit settings of this virtual machine, select it here and click on edit virtual machine settings or right click and select the settings or VM and settings all three options are same okay if you are okay with all the settings then click on power on this virtual machine use up and down arrows and select the first one that is install centvoy stream 10 and hit enter select the language and click on continue see the begin installation has been graded why because the color the items that are marked with red color must be configured. So click on installation destination. I am going with default location. So click on done. And root account. Enable root account. Then set the password for root. Confirm the same. Hello root. SSH login with password. Then click on done. Next user creation. User full name as after school, see other name also same. Then select the checkbox that is add administrative privileges to this user account. Then require a password to use this account. Provide the password, confirm the same. Then click on done. If you want to select software, click on software selection. See by default, it has selected server with GUI. If you want only server, you can select. If you want only workstation, you can select it here. I want both server with you so select it and also if you want to select additional features you can select from this list okay i'm okay with all the settings and click on done language date if you want to configure any one of them you can configure i'm okay with all the settings then click on begin installation see once we click on begin installation installation has been started this will take time i'm going to pause this video and then it will ask us to reboot the system then we will reboot the system then we will perform the post installation steps in meantime please subscribe my channel for more tutorials see installation is completed now click on reboot system now click on username then provide the password that we have set for this user.
see we got the set voice stream 10 now go to applications see here we don't have any web browser okay so i'm going to install the google chrome so open terminal let me increase the font click on this drop down click on this menu then preferences then select this one then scroll down drop down select the font mono regular increase the font select it close it still Double get https colon forward slash dl dot google. I will keep this command in the video description google dot com forward slash linux direct forward slash chrome hyphen stable hyphen current underscore x86 underscore 64 dot rpm hit enter is this stable underscore hit enter also i forgot to give google google hyphen chrome i will keep this command in the video description hit enter see size is 112 megabytes wait until download completes see download completed ls See here we have the Google Chrome stable current underscore x86 RPM packet. Okay, let us install it sudo rpm hyphen ivh hyphen hyphen not depths. Then give Google give the tab to autofill enter RPM package name. Hit enter. Provide the password of sudo user. Hit enter. See forgot about this error but it is installed go to application show applications see here we have the google chrome click on it see we got the google chrome unselect this one that is make the google chrome the default browser it is up to you and automatically send uses statistics and cross reports to google it is up to you but for me i don't want either of them then click on ok it is up to you then don't sign in got it See, you got the Google Chrome. Let me close this one. LS, this file is not required anymore. So, remove it. So, we have cleared the space. If you want to verify like Python or Java is installed or not, like you Python 3. Okay, Ctrl G to quit. And if you want to verify Java is installed or not, just give Java hyphen hyphen version. See, Java is not, not installed. Okay, no. And if you want to verify IP of this machine, just give IF config. See, this is the IP of the machine. See, this is the IP of the machine. Okay. The first step after connecting to send voices, we have to update the packages. Control sudo dnf update ampersand ampersand sudo dnf upgrade. Hit enter. See, it is going to upgrade these many packages. Type and hit enter if you want to upgrade. It is up to you. This will take time. So, in this video, we have seen how to Download and install CentOS Stream 10 on VMware Workstation. Then we have seen how to install a web browser that is Google Chrome on CentOS. Okay. For more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.